So about a month and a half ago from the time of me recording this, which is on February 12th, 2021, the files for a cancelled Tomb Raider game got leaked onto the internet. From what I've been able to gather, the person that leaked them is this guy named Ash... I don't know how to pronounce his last name, sorry, and I'll probably butcher it if I try. This guy was the one to leak them because according to him in this video about a year ago, one of the X-Core design employees sent him these files and he waited a year to release it because he was trying to contact Square Enix and say, hey, can we post these without a cease and desist or a DMCA? And after he got no response, he threw them on the internet, and ever since then, people have jumped all over it. Folks have been working around the clock to fix it, get it up and running, and even some of the developers have taken notice, including Peter Connolly, the guy who was going to make the music and sound effects. He was all like, hey, here's what I made for the game, have it. So this guy Ash, I checked out his stuff. He has a website called tombofash.com, which is a pretty cool website. He's a huge Tomb Raider fan, and he's got a collection of awesome Tomb Raider stuff that any Tomb Raider fan probably wishes they could have. This guy has done interviews with the developers of the classic games, the voice actresses for Lara, the actor for Curtis Trent, and he has interviews with some of the models for Lara from back in the day. He's got all of this info on the cancelled Tomb Raider games, the works. And he's even got a dedicated page for the leaked Tomb Raider game, which is now called the 10th Anniversary Edition, including links where you can download all the files and get them up and running. There's instructions on how to do it. It's pretty simple. There's a computer and a PSP version, both of which are highly unstable at this point, which is to be expected because these leaked files are in a pre-alpha state at best. But you know what? This is where I need the help from any Tomb Raider fan out there. The folks who have been working to put this thing together and make it playable, they need help. Mainly programmers who are skilled with C++ and Maya C++ API. I'm not sure what those are because I don't know anything about programming. But if any of you guys watching this video do know about that stuff, or you know anyone that does, let them know, because there's a way to contact them right here on the website. And I really hope this video can attract even one extra person to the team, because let me tell you something. Just like the group that's trying to get PlayStation Home up and running again, I see a faint glimmer of hope with this, and I don't see that very often nowadays. Modern gaming sucks, there hasn't been a Tomb Raider worth playing since 2008, and this game was thought to be lost for over a decade. So this is fucking awesome. And I'm praying with all my might that this thing gets completed. This could be the coolest thing to happen to Tomb Raider in a long time. And considering that all of the 25th anniversary announcements from Crystal Dynamics at this point have amounted to fuck all nothing, I'll happily take this in its place. So if you or anybody you know is skilled with programming or any part of game development, head over to tombofash.com and contact the guy who runs it. I, for one, will be watching this with great interest. Alright kids, thanks for watching. If you're already subbed to the channel or are about to, be sure to hit the bell so you get notified when I post a video, hit the like button, and give me some feedback. I don't care if it's good or bad.